record to the cloud. Uh, guys, I'm going to go through and mute everybody. If you have a question, then just unmute yourself and jump yeah. in. But I'm going to mute everybody just for the sake of background noise and dogs and kids. Yeah. I still hear a lot of background noise, Amy. Okay. Okay, now it's gone. Yeah, and definitely remember to use the chat feature as well. Um, you can probably uh, check that out too and type questions to Amy and um, she can answer or uh, say them out loud if we need to. So I think we're quiet now. Um, so we will get started here. Tonight we are talking about Young Living skincare, um, just skincare naturally. And I am like super excited about this topic because I have been doing some more reading. I actually got a new book for Christmas. Um, this fall, I was able to go to Young Living Beauty School in Canada, actually it was in Niagara Falls, and we had the opportunity of hearing um, this lady speak. Her name is Sabina Davida. I don't know what level she is in Young Living. Um, I'm not sure, but she has written this book uh, called Saving Face, and I can put that information on there too if you're interested in it. Um, it's called The Sensible Way to Wrinkle-Free Skin, um, but she has a lot in here about skincare and uh, all to do with Young Living and bringing those products into your, uh, into your life and your body, and she talks so much about a lot of different things. So um, I was excited to teach this class because I had the book, and it's always fun to have a new book to look through and new research and uh, information. So uh, a lot of my information has come from this book. Um, as well as just some other resources too. So we will get started. And um, so the fountain of youth, we all, we all know about the fountain of youth and it's this big thing we wanna search for. We want younger looking skin, right? Well, it has become so much a deal that we uh, seek for it that now it has become a billion dollar, if not trillion dollar industry out there. And um, she actually has a quote in here that it's, uh, about, uh, what was the quote now? See, now I'm going to forget. I should have written it down, but it's, it's about profit. It's not, it's about profit for them. It's not about taking care of skin. <laughs> it's literally about profit for them and what they're doing. And, um, you know, the cosmetic industry is on the rise and there's more procedures out there now that are so readily available to us uh, than they ever have been. And every year there's just new different chemicals on the, on the scene that are supposedly helping with our aging process. Um, and I do say that sarcastically because they're not actually helping us. They're filling our bodies with toxins and, and chemicals that we don't want that are not going to be um, really the ideal way of beauty. And before we get started, I did want to talk a little bit about inner beauty because really what we're talking about is um, what I want to remember, although it's important to take care of our bodies and our skin, uh, true beauty comes from within, right? And so you all know we're Disney fans, so I had to pull out this little Disney quote here uh, that says, she warned him not to be deceived by appearances for beauty was found within. So let's all remember that tonight as we're talking about this, that um, although we want um, beautiful radiating skin, uh, beauty does come from the inside and that's what's important uh, most of all. So, but there are some things that we can do, um, you know, that help us to to have that radiating skin. And um, no matter what we look like per se, um, we are all beautiful. And um, as we go through our lives with a non-toxic lifestyle, we um, really can help with that aging process. So uh, before we get into some products and stuff, I just wanted to, I found this awesome graphic and I was like, I wanna share this. Three things that you can do to nourish your skin. These are super simple things that if you can incorporate in your daily life, you will start to see changes in your life, in, in your skin and in, um, in the way it looks. So drink eight glasses of water, hydration, hydration, hydration is so important. Um, say no to sugar, food and all of those um, toxins, chemical, like, um, uh, grease, just different um, things affect our skin. What we put in our bodies, in our, through our mouths, uh, affects our skin as well. And, um, and then cleansing your skin, especially at nighttime. Um, after you've been out and about all day, you know, this young living lifestyle, we talk about being surrounded by, um, you know, toxins and we can't avoid it. 
we're going to go out in public and it's going to be there. It's going to happen. It's going to hit us. And so let's be cleansing our faces at nighttime to rid ourselves of those things. <clears throat> So did you know that it takes 20 seconds, 26 seconds for chemicals in your personal care products to enter your bloodstream? I'm just gonna let that sink in. 26 seconds, that's it. So as we're putting things on our, um, on our bodies, on our faces, uh, on our skin, it's the, the skin is our largest organ in our body. And so as we're putting things on, we need to be really careful about what is on those labels. Uh, that's one of the things that I want to preach at you tonight. I feel like the biggest thing is what's on your labels. Read your labels. It's so important. Um, I have a message from Mariah is trying to get on. Do you see that, honey? Yes. Yeah. Can you? Okay. Sorry. We have someone trying to hop on here. Um, so it is, um, I lost my train of thought. Yes, what goes on our skin is so important. We want to make sure that we are living a non-toxic, toxic-free life, um, not only in, um, you know, different things in our uh, food and uh, our surroundings as far as different medications that are out there, but also in our um, in our skincare and our beauty care. And that's one thing I love about Young Living is that we have options with them. They are literally the one-stop shop. You can get so many different products from them and we are gonna talk about some of their amazing skincare products tonight. I'm also gonna give you some DIY options as well. Um, so I just wanted to give you some facts about um, the uh, uh, beauty industry. Did you know that $500 million are spent each year on chemical beauty aids and treatments? And this, whole, this book actually talks a lot about Botox and she talks about how bad that is for you. Um, and that Botox is actually one of the most severe kinds of food poisoning. And that's what they inject in you to plump and do all those crazy things. Uh, yet it is, um, there was 3 million injections reported in 2011. So again, this is a booming industry that is in our faces all around. Um, the options are out there for people to go and get help uh, with their aging process, but really there is so much more that we need to be doing. Um, and the sad thing is, is that uh, the FDA doesn't really um, take account into what uh, people put into their products. And so there is, um, I, this is a quote here that I pulled from the book as well. And it says the FDA can take action on a case in which harm is done only after the product is on the market and only after has received enough consumer complaints, which what is enough, we don't even know what that means. Um, and then enough evidence has been collected to prove in court that the product is hazardous. And then they'll remove it from our shelves. That's crazy, guys. We have got to be careful about reading the labels because we don't know what we are putting on our skin. Just because you can buy it um, at a store off the shelf does not mean that it's safe for you and your family. Um, you know, there is a lot of uh, risk factors out there. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention that she has a summary of aging um, accelerators in here. And so there's so many more aging accelerators. Oops, I went too far. Um, than even just um, what we put on our skin. And so I kind of wanted to review that quickly. Uh, but sun damage can help, it can age us. Uh, cigarette smoke, including um, se uh, secondhand smoke, um, sugar, alcohol, coffee, junk food. Oh, I know I said the coffee word. That one um, hits me. Uh, poor digestion, uh, hormonal function, um, so many things, chemicals around us. Um, this is funny. She says habitual facial expressions can affect our aging. So <laughs> if you, I mean, it's good to laugh, right? It's good to laugh. So I'm not going to take that out of my life. Um, but even toxic emotions can affect our aging. Uh, we need to be careful about that. And that's another thing that I will mention a little bit later, but having essential oils in our life also affects our emotions and gives us an uplifting uh, factor in our lives that help us age. Whether we're putting the oils on our skin or not, it's actually using the essential oils um, aromatically. We are still helping our bodies um, age gracefully. So that's exciting. Stress helps, de uh, um, or stress affects, affects aging, sleep deprivation, um, and so many different things out there that affect our um, 
our um, our aging process. So we are, first of all, the biggest thing that we're going to talk about tonight is getting toxins out of our life, because that is one thing that we can, we can do. And me jumping into Young Living and being part of this amazing company, I've really realized the toxins that were surrounding my life and the ability that I had to, that I was able to get them out and rid, rid myself of them um, in an affordable way, which is amazing. So here are some chemicals that I wanted to talk about that we need to avoid. Um, there are so many out there, and honestly, um, the things that they cause in our life are from endocrine disruptors to um, just our everyday emotions, depression they can cause. Um, they can just be skin irritations, uh, like um, skin disorders and different things can come about from them. They can, um, are carcinogenic, which um, what that means is cancer causing. So some of these products that are on our shelves that we use daily, we're actually influencing our body to possibly have that nasty C word. So again, what am I gonna tell you? Read your labels. This is a list, definitely not a full list, but this is a list of some of the um, most popular, I guess, um, most common, I guess that's the word, the most common, um, chemicals that you would see in your um in your everyday pantry and i have a story for you so <laughs> um i bought something that recently had one of these chemicals in it and i was i was at the store and i read i'm i hate grocery shopping because i am a label reader now and sometimes it can be a hassle but it's worth it because it's it's the smallest thing i can do for my family right is to read labels and help put good things in us and so um anyway bht came up and i was like oh bht that doesn't i think i've read about that <laughs> I think that's not good. So I did a quick Google search and it said a preservative and I was like, oh, a preservative, that's gross. But you know what? My daughter was asking for it. Um, something very simple, cornflakes, plain, no sugar, nothing else but cornflakes. And it had BHT in it. Anyway, then I was coming, I had done some of, I already put this slide together, my friends. I had already done this, um, this graphic for you and then realized, oh, I just bought something that was cancer causing to feed my child for breakfast every day. It happens. So what did I do? Um, I threw it out. I bought it and I threw it out. I had already opened it. I can't even believe that I'm admitting to it, but it happens. And we just have to be super careful about what we are putting in our bodies and um you know so it was kind of eye-opening for me just the factor that it is all out it is so easily um that we can find these things in our surroundings um so bht in general i'm going to talk a little bit about these um these these chemicals just so you kind of have an understanding um this book is amazing if you are really interested in more research about your skin and um, toxins and how to, it's just, it's incredible. So I'm gonna just share some, she has a list of some of these, uh, these chemicals and what they're used for and then what, how they're harmful. And so for BHT, for example, um, it is used because it has uh, synthetic antioxidants. So they even pose it as a good thing because we know antioxidants are good, but it's synthetic. Uh, it is in a lot of lipsticks, it's in a lot of moisturizers, uh, among other cosmetics, and it's widely used as a food preservative. So there we go. So what are the dangers of it? Well, it's a suspected endocrine disruptor and may cause cancer. There you go, friends. I threw it out. It's gone in the trash. Um, okay, so what are some other things on here? Um, let me see. I'm going to go back to the beginning of my list. So mineral oil and petroleum, these are in a lot of hair products, in lip balms, in skincare products, um, there are, they are in, um, so yes, that's what they're in. Studies suggest that exposure to these uh, for an expend, extended period of time, again, can cause cancer. Um, so what do they do? It blocks all nutrients to, um, that mineral oil can block all nutrients and it can slow down cellular development. It can early the signs of aging the opposite of what we're trying to do, healthier, beautiful looking skin, uh, among other things. All right, what are some other things? DEA, or otherwise it can be known as TEA and MEA. 
they are used in creamy and foaming products. Um, they make it, they make the foam that we like the, to make it like a soapy texture um, and a lot of moisturizers and shampoos. Uh, again, um, that nasty C word, it can also uh, cause skin and ear, um, eye irritations. Uh, it can be de uh, toxifying to the liver and so many of those the other uh, aspects. Let me see, what's another one here we have? Um, formaldehyde. So isn't that crazy that that's just in our stuff for a preservative that we're putting on our faces? It's in many toiletries, hair care, perfumes, um, and any fragrant products, which that's another thing I wanted to mention. So, well, first let me go here. So it can cause um, a lot of respiratory issues. Um, it can inflame asthma and different things like that. Um, it can cause itchy and rashy skin as well. So going back to that, the fra fragrance, when a um, company can put fragrance on their bottle, that actually represents a list of um, more than 5,000 chemicals. And all they have to write on their bottle is fragrance. That's what fragrance means. It can mean a list of all of these 5,000 things. So we don't even know exactly what we're putting on our skin when it says fragrance. Um, and there was a study done um, by someone, I can't, I can't remember where she pulled it from. Um, I try to have resources, so I'm sorry. I don't like it that I don't have that, but that 900 of those were completely toxic and should be banned. 95% of them were derived from petroleum. Um, and so like not things that we want on our body. Uh, there was also a report from coming clean by the EWG and healthcare without harm, detailing a toxic family of chemicals called phthalates, which is actually spelled P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, phthalates. And these are found in car parts, as well as nail polish, lipstick, moisturizers, and perfumes. And again, that is one of the things that is under fragrance. That's a, it's a fragrance. And so that's all that they have to put on the list. Um, SLS is a very popular one that's out there. Um, it's sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, that one, if you go to the store, you can see it all over the place. And again, um, it is a potent carcinogenic. It may damage the liver, uh, harmful to aquatic wildlife, and, um, and it breaks down your skin's moisture barrier, potentially leading to drier skin and premature aging. Again, not what we want. It's amazing how these companies promote these products to help our skin when really they're tearing it down. So that was the bad news. <laughs> I shared the bad news first. I should have said that. Do you want the bad news or the good news first? Well, I gave you the bad news first, and now we're gonna move on to the good news, um, which is that essential oils feed the skin, nurture the skin, rejuvenate your skin, and they help balance your mind, body, and emotions. How exciting is that? And we have access to that. And I think pretty much all of us are members on here tonight, um, as far as I know anyway. Um, I lost my screen there. Okay, there it is. So um, most of you already have access to these incredible Young Living oils um, that are top of the line, 100% pure, uh, above organic, uh, and we get to use these on our skin and on our body to help us with the process of aging gracefully. And I am so excited about that. Not only do we have essential oils, but we also have an amazing product line of skincare that we can use um, to help better our skin and, um, and just and have a better, happier life. See, I wear my happy shirt tonight because I'm happy. I want to be innerly happy to help my beauty. <laughs> so, alrighty. Well, we're going to get started with some of the procedures for cleansing your skin. So, to get started, I just, I pulled up um, just the a general outline for how to take care of your skin. And so, first of all, you're going to cleanse your skin. And we're gonna go through these and have, I'm gonna share with you basically each option, uh, the options that Young Living has. Uh, so I, we actually have slides, um, all, both Jen, or all, all three of us, Jen, Amy, and myself, and I think Dana as well, we all have access to um, like skin type, if you're oily, mature, a dry skin, uh, a different um, 
procedure chart for each of those skin types. I'm not gonna go through each one of them tonight. I will talk about the products and kind of, so you'll just kind of listen. And if you know you have dry skin, then just take note, then maybe that's uh, the product that you might wanna purchase. Uh, so cleansing, exfoliating, toning, restore, moisturize, and refine. These are the kind of the six uh, steps. Uh, exfoliating, we only do two times, two to three times a week. Uh, so that's not something that you're gonna wanna do every day, but we'll talk about that when we get there as well. So that's just a little overview of what we're gonna what we're gonna go through. So first of all, I wanted to talk about Orange Blossom Face Wash. This is one of my favorite Young Living products, and um, it definitely goes a long way. And actually, my next slide, I'm gonna share a little hack with you to make it last even longer. But um, so this is a gentle soap, and it cleanses without stripping your natural oils. It contains MSM, which um, I have, it's, it's this big, long scientific name that I am not gonna remember. But that really helps um, build your uh, collagen and helps with your skin's elasticity and longevity. So it's really good for our skins as well as our body is. Um, and I should have put on here, Young Living has an incredible supplement called Sulfurzyme that has sulfur and MSM in it too. And it's a great option as well for helping um, like a supplement that helps your skin and hair. And I should have included it in this class. I didn't, but I just told you about it. So it's Sulfurzyme and it's an awesome option for you for a supplement. All right. So back to Orange Blossom Face Wash. Um, it is, again, it helps with the elasticity of your skin. Uh, there's lavender oil in it. Um, there is patchouli, lemon, rosemary. It, it smells amazing, uh, for one. And it, um, I love it. So, and it is for all types of skin. Um, so anybody that has uh, pretty much any type of skin, you can use this. Um, it is especially though for sensitive skin, for dry skin or mature skin. So if that's one of you, you might want to write this down. Um, and it also has wolfberry seed in it. How awesome is that? We love the wolfberry from our Ningxia Red, right? So uh, that is in there as well. So this is something that you'll use one to two times a day. And my little hack for this, so Orange Facial, Orange Blossom Face Wash is like a, a soap, a gel soap, but I like to make it a foam because I like foaming and this makes it last long, longer. So you can see here, um, again, it, you can take a, a foam pump bottle and it says um, you can fill it with like about a quarter of the way and then the rest of the way uh, up with distilled water. And I just shake it up and then la lasts me um, for several, like probably two months every time I fill that up. Uh, and again, this is something that you will do uh, both morning and night with the Orange Blossom Face Wash. Young Loving has one other option for cleanser and that is the Arc Cleanser, the Arc Gentle Cleanser. And all right, so the Arc Gentle Cleanser is, it is already in the foam um, state. You, it's a foaming, a foaming wash. Uh, the amazing thing about this bottle is that a quarter of the bottle is pure essential oils. That's how much oil is in um, this that you are benefiting your skin with. It is amazing. Uh, and it smells great too. It also has vitamin E and vitamin A in it. It has aloe vera, ginkgo leaf, and green tea in it. It is a... It is packed with powerful essential oils for your skin. Uh, again, this is something that you'll use um, uh, twice a day in the morning and at night when you cleanse. Obviously, everybody's skin is different, so if you prefer to cleanse um, just at night or you know how your skin is, it's important to listen to your skin and how your body and, and what's the best for you. Um, this supply, it, this lasts uh, between three and four months um, for the Art Cleanser. I should have gone back, the, the Orange Blossom Face Wash, uh, when I said it lasts me about two months, that's each time I fill it. So it lasts me about five or six months because it's a more of a concentrate. All right, so the Art Cleanser, it is um, for people that have dry, oh no, dry skin prefer orange blossom. This is for um, just pretty much every, again, everybody's skin, more oily, would you would tend to head towards the Art and more dry, you're gonna head towards more of the orange blossom. And basically it just gently removes the dirt and your makeup, it soothes and calms your skin. Uh, it supports your skin's natural pH balance as well. So that is your art cleanser. Oh, I do, do need to list some of the oils that are in it because they are amazing. Um, frankincense, Melissa, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Lemon and Lavender. 
Isn't that amazing? And all of us that know, um, I will just mention it here. If you want to make your own, I think I did put a slide in. Hold up. Oh, I did. A slide. If you want to DIY, if you want to make your own cleanser, here is an option for you. Um, we love the mild, the baby mild uh, Castile soap. I make my hand soaks out of it. I personally don't make my face wash out of it, but I know Amy has before. Um, and here's a quick recipe. A third of a cup of the Castile soap, two thirds of a cup of distilled water, and one tablespoon of grapeseed oil or jojoba oil. Those two are the ones that are the best. Um, they're closest to your most natural um, skin oils, and so <clears throat> they're great for your skin. Uh, they're not too oily, um, but you want to have that little carrier oil in there. And then um, this recipe has two drops of lemon, two drops of lavender, and 20 drops of melaleuca or tea tree. Um, uh, so, but you can change that up. Um, I am going to show you later um, a graphic about different oils to help your skin, uh, like different skin types. And so when I show that graphic, those are some oil, those are some essential oils that you may want to use for your skin, uh, for your homemade cleanser if you want. And then we're going to also talk about a homemade beauty serum as well. So that is an option if you prefer DIY right there. I love Orange Fr Blossom Face Wash. That is my go-to. That is the one I purchase regularly. All right. Well, then the next step is um, exfoliating, which again, we don't do every day, uh, but you will do that two times a week. And really the point of exfoliation is to um, rid your, like get deeper into the pores. Okay. Um, and so you uh, won't experience the full benefits of skinny skin care routines without exfoliating. It's really important to remove the dead skin, skin cells. That's really hard to say, skin cells uh, that build up and inhibit other products from doing what they're supposed to do. So again, when you exfoliate, that means your moisturizers, your cleansers, your serums, they're gonna work better because they can penetrate faster in um, just get deeper into your skin. So again, not something you do every day, two to three times a week. Um, I actually am a once a week kind of girl. I don't exfoliate probably enough, but that's how much I do it. And again, when you do it, you want to do it in um, small circular motions. Uh, same with your cleanser. You never want to go down when you cleanse. Um, you always want to push up and in small circular uh, motions. That's the best for your skin. Um, and one cool thing about the uh, exfoliant, the satin facial scrub. It's a mint scent. It smells amazing as well. Again, I'm probably going to say that about every product because I personally love the way they smell. Uh, they're so uplifting because they have the oils in them. But um, so the every uh, exfoliant has some kind of um, scrubby feature, right? <laughs> and so a lot of times those scrubby, those little beads can be made from plastics and different things, chemicals that we don't want. Uh, where Young Living's is actually made from jojoba oil wax beads. And so they actually absorb into your skin. So it's pretty awesome. I love it. Um, it also has MSM in it that we were talking about that helps your elasticity. It is uh, a very gentle scrub. It's not harsh at all. Uh, peppermint oil stimulates the production of new skin cells. So that's awesome. If you have um, like scarring on your face and stuff, that would be really helpful for those new uh, skin cells to develop. There is uh, algae extract in it, which is very rich in vitamins and minerals. And it does not damage your pH level, uh, this exfoliant. The one thing about after you exfoliate every single time, it's important that you do tone. Um, those two always go together. Toning is something you can do every day in your, um, like my, my daily regimen is cleanse, tone, moisturize are those three things for sure. And then I add in every once in a while exfoliation and I add in um, like uh, refining and those deeper penetrating moisturizer type things uh, every once in a while. Um, so, but toner is super important after you uh, exfoliate because when you exfoliate it does change the pH level and it's you've opened up those pores and so what the toner does uh, which is our next slide uh, we are going to talk about toner it comes in and helps close up your pores 
And that's what's important for um, not undoing what you've already done in your skin. Um, so a lot of uh, not only cleansers, but they, um, cleansers also open up your pores. So that's why it is important to tone every day as well. The toners, um, this has a more pH balance. And so it actually helps close your pores. Um, and so they're not wide open and it brings it back to a, a better pH level. Most toners contain high uh, levels of alcohol causing puffiness and inflammation around your pores. And then they appear smaller. And that's not good for it. That's not good. So instead, this um, is a very gentle toner. It is not one that dries out your skin at all. Uh, and again, it is one of the most important steps for skin toning, blotchiness, and patchiness. So if you feel like you have different skin tones, um, toning is something you definitely need to introduce into your skincare regimen. I'm going to take a drink here. All this talking. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, is there anything else I need to add about this? Um, specifically, the art toner. It leaves your skin tone, but not dry. I already said that a little bit. Um, yeah, and it removes leftover residue particles. It closes the pores. Uh, and this bottle lasts you a very long time. So me personally, how I use it, I just put it on a little cotton swab, a cotton pad what I should say. And um, I rub my face. I have a friend who is very frugal and she actually just puts it on her fingers and rubs, on her, rubs it on her face. Um, she feels like she loses too much when she puts it on the cotton pad. I like it on the cotton pad. I feel like it, it helps get any other residue that might be on my face. All right. So that is our uh, art toner. All right. And if you've noticed, um, every single um, uh, slide that I'm showing you, every single product that I'm talking about, they all have Young Living essential oils infused into them. So you have to remember that that is the amazing benefit that we have of buying our products um, through Young Living is that they already have oils in them and we get that benefit from them. So your next step, if um, you are doing a serum, then uh, that would be that would be next. Your, um, before you moisturize, you want to use a serum. And so Young Living actually has two different options of serum, which is kind of amazing because honestly, for the longest time, this is the only serum that I use, the Art Renewal Serum. And I do really like it. But recently, I ordered um, another one that I'm going to talk about next. And so there is two options that you have for a serum. Actually, there's three because you could make your own. Uh, you could do a DIY serum, which I'm going to give you a recipe for as well. So <clears throat> beauty serums are really lightweight moisturizers that penetrate deeper to deliver active ingredients to your skin. That's what they are. And so you do this before you moisturize and they deliver re restoring properties to your skin is what they do. Um, it can be applied in the morning and at night uh, and very, they're very concentrated and so they go a long way for sure. They really help your skin stay healthy from within. And looking for my notes here on Art Serum. Um, all right, I don't think I have any other notes on it. So I'm just gonna go off the slide here. This um, is a gel consistency and it go, again, it does go a long way. A lot of people actually I've heard have used this for a primer for um, the, the new Savvy Minerals makeup as well. Um, I'll tell you what I use in just a minute, but this is, uh, I, it, it definitely goes a long way. You need one little pump is all you need in your, um, in your, on your fingers to, to cover your whole face. So it is a blend of incredible um, fragrances, orchid petals, and there's another uh, honeysuckle, I think, is in it as well, um, that I, I had in my notes, but I've misplaced them somewhere. So they, um, again, this is a, one that's going to last you a long time as well. Um, I would say four to five months is maybe six months even. Uh, it is a long-lasting product as well that is just going to go deeper into your skin to give you more rejuvenating process. So this is the other beauty serum that's not talked about a lot with Young Living. Um, it's an oil base. It's not a gel. It's an oil. 
And um, I just recently purchased this. It is a strong cedarwood smell. So if that is something that you like, very calming and relaxing. My mom does not like cedarwood. So we were going to order this for her. And then I was like, mom, I don't think you'll like it. We'll just make your own beauty serum, uh, which you can do. But this is one specifically for dry, dry skin. And so it's really... Um, you know, if you have dry patches on your face, it may be a good thing to start with, uh, as well as, um, you know, if you have combination skin, you know, because it's, you have different, uh, it's easier to go on in just certain spots, basically. So this is one that you can also get from Young Living, and um, you can add it to your moisturizer. If you have a moisturizer, if you, um, you know, want to just get a carrier oil and add this to it for a beauty serum, you can do that as well. And then our DIY beauty serum. So this is fun. If you like to DIY, it's super easy to make your beauty serum. And I gave you a couple options here. Frankincense is amazing for your skin. We all know that. Um, it comes in the premium starter kit and it is one of the best for wrinkles and scars and all of those things. So skin um, health. Lavender is also amazing for skin. Those are our two go-tos, right, when it comes to skin. So those I would suggest to put in your beauty serum. And then one to two drops of another oil of your choice. Uh, and if you don't have any other ones, then you can just go ahead and put another drop of each of those in. You could. But sandalwood is great, geranium, ylang, -ylang patchouli, and rose. Uh, and then you add that just to one ounce of carrier oil. Uh, again, jojoba oil, avocado oil, or grapeseed oil. Those are uh, all three options. And then you're just going to use a couple drops a day for your skin. So there is um, an option for beauty serum. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a break from um, talking about products and I'm going to show you some, I actually took some pictures from this book and I'm going to show you. So this is a great time if you have a pen and paper to write down. Um, I'm going to also share oily and dry skin next. I just couldn't fit them all in the same slide. Um, so what essential oils are best for you? There's so many options out there. Um, I'm not going to read these all. So actually I am in case people are listening to the uh, replay, then I want them to hear them. So uh, for balanced skin, geranium, lavender, rose, ylang ylang, myrrh, lemon, frankincense, German chamomile, sandalwood, and blue cypress. And I will post these all on the uh, event page. And if anybody needs them, we can get these slides to you. So those are for balanced. And then we have two more lists. Uh, one for dry skin. Um, some options would be carrot seed, frankincense again, really good for any, any um, skin type, German chamomile, uh, palmarosa, sacred frankincense, cedarwood, rose, sandalwood, patchouli, jasmine, thyme, geranium, clary sage, and myrrh. So those are options that you can have for dry skin. I'm giving the interpreter a workout tonight. I'm trying to read it slow if you don't, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to read it a little bit slower for him to catch up. <laughs> All right, and then the last group is for oily skin, and that is Roman chamomile, juniper, lavender, geranium, cypress, lemon, orange, frankincense, ylang ylang, rosemary, helichrysum, lemongrass, patchouli, rosewood, and clary sage. So there you go. Those are our options. I do want to mention too here, just because we're talking about oils and doing DIY, um, it is important that if you're using citrus oils, um, and especially like for us that live in Florida, uh, those are things you want to be careful with how much you're putting in your facial products because they can be photosensitive um, to the sun and just um, uh, attract the sun to your skin and, and cause um, a sunburn. So you do want to be careful. I just noticed some of these are for, uh, for oily skin specific has a lot of um, the citrus oils. So you need to be careful with that. That being said, um, with like the orange facial, orange blossom wash, it doesn't even have orange in it. Um, but some of the products have uh, citrus in them and the photosensitive, photosensitive properties have actually been taken out. So you don't have any of those worries or concerns with the Young Lemon products. 
Um, okay, this um, is just a great uh, example. I'm not gonna read all this. Um, we will post this on the group, but again, just some carrier oil options for you. If you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, oily skin, these are some options that you might have. So um, I am a high user of um, jojoba oil, <clears throat> specifically on my face. And um, then I, coconut oil is my go-to for, you know, my hands and my creams that I make, my pain cream, my, um, you know, muscle things. Those things, I typically use a coconut oil. So I'll give you a second and I'm going to take a, a drink of water if you need to write any of those down. And give my interpreter a break. <laughs> <clears throat> All righty, let's move on. Okay. Oh, no, I have one more slide for you. I'm sorry. One more slide. Um, this one is actually for acne prone skin. Um, and so I saw it in the book and um, if you have inflamed skin, um, if you're oil, real, super oily, um, uh, those are some oils that are suggested as well, um, specifically for inflammatory Things like um, patchouli, helichrysum, frankincense, lavender, nutmeg, peppermint are good for those. Um, to balance the oils and normalize the oiliness in your skin, um, bergamot or cypress, elemi, uh, orange, rose, sandalwood, ylang ylang. And um, astringent oils are to control the oiliness. Then there's geranium, frankincense, orange, patchouli, Ylang -ylang. Just to name a few for those that might be listening to our recording. All right, and again, we will post these slides. All right, we are on to moisturizer. Young Living has some great moisturizing options. <clears throat> so moisturizing is not only hydrating the skin, and this is one thing that I really learned at um, beauty school. I was thinking that it's for hydrating and you know putting the moisture back into my skin but they also talked about it being um a protectant it's a protectant layer from your pollutants and from the stress around you and so it's a super important step to remember in the environments that we live in um and every woman every woman should every person really men should as well although i know men aren't so great with skin care but um should moisturize now my husband does oil his beard so I guess he gets that beard oil in there and it, I'm sure it gets on his face. I need to tell him to wipe some of that in <laughs> for some moisturizer. <laughs> um, so usually twice a day again, once in the morning and once at night um, is the typical time that you're gonna moisturize. Um, and so this is the lightweight moisturizer, the art, uh, the art line, like there's a word for that, the art line. Um, so they have, uh, the three that go together, the art cleanser, the toner, and then the lightweight moisturizer. You can actually purchase in a kit, the three of them together. And so this lightweight moisturizer, it is um, one of my favorites as well. I've actually used it before with Savvy Mineral Makeup to make a liquid uh, foundation instead of using the mineral powder. So that's kind of another little makeup hack, which we're not really talking about Savvy Minerals tonight because that's another whole class um, makeup, but we're talking about the prep before the makeup, right? Um, and so, but I have used it to make a liquid foundation, which is cool because I'm getting the properties. Um, it has great coverage. Again, it goes a long way. Uh, you really only need one pump, maybe one and a half. Uh, and uh, again, good for oily skin. Um, and skin that doesn't require too much moisturization. Um, okay, then, so this is the one that has sunny honeysuckle in it. Honeysuckle summer snowflake bulb. Doesn't that just sound divine? Uh, and orchid as well in it. Um, it has frankincense and royal Hawaiian sandalwood in it. It has um, some, it can be used again twice a day. Uh, this lasts about three to four months. Um, and um, it slowly releases skin regenerating, regenerating the essential oils. So it actually works slowly in your skin um, to, to have longer lasting effects. All righty. Our next moisturizer from Young Living, this is my all-time favorite uh, moisturizer. I'm getting ready to order it again. 
because this is the one that I actually use under my Savvy Minerals. So um, I love it as a primer uh, for my skin. And um, so Sheer Lume, this one is considered a brightening cream. I also like it because I live in Florida and I am out in the sun a lot. And um, so I get freckles and um, uh, sunspots and things on my face. And so this helps with even toning. So if you're someone that has um, sunspots, then this is definitely a product that you wanna get to start using consistently. Uh, I'm excited because when I was at beauty school, they did a, um, a face scan on me. I should have brought it to show you. Um, and Shirley May is one of the things that they recommended that I use daily. And I really have um, been consistent about it since then. And um, they said, if I can do my scan again at convention with Young Living, then I should see a huge difference. And so I'm excited to see that difference uh, because basically the scan um, showed at a higher intensity where my sunspots were. And I had quite a few because I live in Florida. So um, anyway, so this is a great brightening cream to even out your skin tones. Uh, very hydrating and reju rejuvenating. It, um, it really improves um, your skin tones, dark spots, and brightens just an all over brightener to your face. Um, you really only need a tiny bit. It has lasted me, um, so that was September, October, November, December, January. So yeah, I'm already on month four and I probably have another couple weeks in there. So I would say a good five months that it lasts for me. Um, significantly, oh, I already said that, sorry. Um, great for dark circles and sunspots. I uh, use twice a day. And um, yeah, so that is the Sheer Lume and one of my favorite products. All right, next is the Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream. And this is a really large tub. It does, you can see there, it's four ounces. So a lot of the other ones are one to two ounces. This is a four ounce jar. And it is um, very thick. It's, it's one of our thickest in um, viscosity. And it's more of a body cream. It's for your elbows and your um, knees and your heels. Uh, it covers large portions of your skin. And, um, it is a eight to 12 month supply. So I don't know if Amy, you're on here. I mean, I know you're on here, but do you ever, do you want to jump on quick and just share your, I don't never ever actually tried this one. And so I need to get it in my repertoire of things, but I don't have it yet. So do you want to just talk a little bit about why you love it? Oh, you're muted. I think you're muted. <laughs> hey. So this is my sandalwood. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's a big tub, like Brooke said. Um, it's very high quality. Sandalwood is, it smells really, really great. This is very um, calming, relaxing. And um, I use this a lot for my hands in the winter. Because I live in Missouri, my skin is just dry a lot in the winter. We have a wood stove and if you can see like it's very very thick. It's very um, concentrated. All of the Young Living lotions are very very concentrated. Um, we're not going to talk about the different body hand and body lotions that Young Living has. I use those all the time but the thing that you need to know is that you use probably less than half of what you would with a typical lotion because everything that we have like face care and skin care and body all of it is such high quality that it lasts at least twice as long um, because i have such dry skin in the winter my hands need a little extra love and that's the main thing that i use the sandalwood for um, but during the day like in my kitchen and just running around the house. I also use, la my favorites are lavender and sensation, which I didn't bring in here. Um, but I do love sandalwood and it's, um, I know I've had this for more than a year. You I know, know, I don't. It, I'm being very um, conservative with the time. Yeah. I just know people want to know that. And so yeah. Definitely, I'm being conservative with what I'm saying, and, and that is so true that our products last a long time. They yeah, do. they do. Um, and you know, I am in my mid 40s, and so if there's other ladies out there, give me a shout out on the um chat. But you know, my hands get wrinkled looking like 
it seemed like 40, all the wrinkles went straight to my hands. And so my hands need a lot of moisture and this really helps with that. So the sandalwood, I don't use it as much in the summertime, but I use it a lot more in the winter. Awesome. And it's, it, it's just so smooth. I mean, my hands feel so good right now. Awesome. I wish I was there to share it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, okay. Boswellia wrinkle cream. Do you have that one too, Amy? Did we talk about you doing anything on that? No, I don't think I have that one. I have, is that the eye cream? Um, no, this is a wrinkle cream, so I'll just talk about it quickly. Yeah, um, I don't have that. No, this is a Boswellia wrinkle cream. It is also one that I don't have yet in my um, collection of, of products. Um, again, it's specifically for wrinkle cream, and it's amazing when I, um, I actually had looked it up. It goes really well with the eye cream, so they're kind of saying that to pair them together is really great. The eye cream helps with your dark circles, which we're going to talk about next, and um, wrinkles under your eyes. And then the wrinkle cream is for your whole face as far as a specifically face um, helps restore uh, smooth looking skin. I'm like, there's a word for that. Um, again, it has that MSM. So that's helping with your elasticity. Uh, the wolfberry seed helps with that as well. And uh, again, some great essential oils that go with it. Um, to help with that. So at, is again, that, that MSM helps with um, the the collagen, and so that's what's helping your skin be a little more um, fuller and not as wrinkly. And it does, it goes well with the Wolfberry Eye Cream. And this one I do love. Um, I am not consistent with using it, and then there'll be a season that I am consistent using it because I see the effects of my face, the tiredness, the puffiness, um, and those things, and it really does help. Um, you just take your pinky and dab around your eye very lightly. Um, and again, this one I, have had for a very long time. <laughs> so I don't even, yeah. And so it is still the same. Uh, it's, it still works the same for me. So um, Amy, Mariah was asking through Roger about um, expiration dates. These don't have dates, do they? I didn't check. They don't as well, do they? I mean, they, they have, um, they have numbers on the bottom. Yeah. Um, Marie, but I don't see an expiration date. It has like a lot number on the bottom, but there isn't an expiration. And what I had um, typed into the chat is that I have never seen any of my products from Young Living ever expire or smell badly. Um, if like if they do have carrier oil in them, there is a potential there for it to eventually expire. But I personally have never had that happen. Mm -hmm. And I have some products that are four years old. Like I probably still have my original rose ointment, which is probably at least three and a half years old. And it doesn't, it doesn't smell rancid. Yeah. And again, that's is a good time to just bring up the fact that Young Living Essential Oils don't expire. And if you are seeing out and about oils that expire, then that's kind of a sure warning sign that it's not a pure oil. Because right. carrier oils are the things that can expire. So that being said, though, when you do make your own DIY products, it is important that you're using them within a month or two, because those carrier oils that you have um, don't have quite, don't have a long shelf life most of the time. All righty few more products. Um, Young Living has a cream mask. And so this is, again, just one of those uh, deep hydrating. Um, it restores your youthful look. It tightens your skin. Uh, it's it's kind of like your spa experience at home. You put it on your face and you leave it on your face for about 20 minutes. Um, and then you can just remove the excess with um, a moist towel, basically. Um, it is um, also smells incredible. This one is very relaxing. I do like to do it at night time if you can see some of the oils in it are vetiver which is a completely um just calming oil ylang ylang calming so many of those in this are very just um relaxation and so it does really give you that relaxation feel for sure <clears throat> all right and then rose ointment uh we love this um 
So rose ointment is what we use it for a lot of the times is if you've got cracked fingernails, if you've got owies or boo-boos, we love to use it as that kind of an ointment um, for any of those cuts and scrapes and um, anything that might need healing excuse me, as far as your skin goes, um, this is the thing that we grab for. I will also say, I'm pretty sure Arlene will mention this too. Um, it has very similar properties. I should have put a picture in there of this um, to the animal ointment. Um, and Amy, I don't know, do you have the animal ointment, Amy? You do? Okay. So I actually don't have animals, but I order the animal ointment because it's a huge tub and it's a very similar um, it's very similar ingredients to it. Uh, I do think the only thing that's not in it is the actual rose. It has rose hip instead of rose, I think is the difference. Um, I did look it up one time. I'm pretty sure that's the difference. So, oh, Arlene is showing there. It's a green label and it's um, Animal Sense Ointment. And it is um, just definitely, um, uh, yeah, same, it's the same consistency. It's very waxy in a sense. It's very, it's an ointment. It is not a lotion. It is not something that you, you know, you're going to use over your whole body. It's a spot treatment thing for specific, um, areas of, of struggle that you might have. So yes, definitely Mariah. I see you showing your hand, uh, Mariah. I know that you've, yes, it would be something that would definitely help that area of your, um, of your body that the, um, irritation that you have on your skin. So, all right. Okay, so I added this one in because they actually just reformulated this. And so I have not purchased this yet. I don't know, Amy, if you have yet, but um, it is their uh, Art Beauty Mask and it comes with a four pack. Um, I had to put a picture of somebody. I just Googled her. She doesn't look very happy, but it is an actual um, fabric mask that you put on your face and you leave it on your face um, again for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, again, another deep penetrating, um, nourishing, like these, um, these last few things kind of remind me of um, uh, like a deep condi conditioner that you would do in your hair, um, that kind of a thing. Except not something you do daily, not something you do even weekly, maybe bi-weekly. Um, it's just that extra level of deep care for your skin. Um, and Amy, I know you said we weren't going to talk about the body lotions, but I actually put them in here because I did think that it was important just to bring them up. Um, Young Living has a whole line of um, hand and body lotions. Uh, lavender and Sensation are great. And there's another one called Genesis, I think is what it's called. Um, and then they have a Kid Sense lotion as well. And they have a new body butter. If you like more of the body butter, thicker, but viscosity, I can never say that word, thicker, um, then you might want to try the body butter that they have as well. And again, these, these lotions go a long way. You don't need very much at all. They uh, last a long time. They smell amazing. And um, we use them all the time. So, and like Amy said, she uses the uh, um, thicker the thicker lotions in the winter, whereas the hand and body is something that you're going to use all year round for sure. And then that being said, again, just because I was talking about reading labels and the importance of reading labels, I wanted to bring up that Young Living also has a whole seedlings line and um, for, for our little ones that are in our lives, because that's so important at that early age um, that we're introducing positive things on their skin and in their body. So Young Living has... Um, uh, baby wipes, and um, I know it's not quite skincare, but really at that age, there's so much that we are, we're cleaning them, the babies very often. And so I wanna just, just recommend that just so you know that it's out there for um, babies in your life um, that you might want to recommend. I actually have bought the diaper cream for myself um, for a, um, an owie, uh, like for a boo-boo cream kind of thing. Um, and so we've used that a few times on that as well. And I just because I love the smell of, of lavender and it's, it works wonderful for that. And then um, as we're closing, I also wanted to mention that after you put your, 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 you've cleaned your face and you've exfoliated and you've moisturized and all of those amazing things, um, what, I just wanted to pose the question, what else are you putting on your skin? We've got makeup now um, that Young Living Savvy Minerals has uh, put out by Young Living now. And um, a great way to be able to, uh, again, feel confident without compromise. 
It's an amazing line um, that we're not going to talk about tonight, but I wanted to bring it to your attention that it is there and um, available for you to, uh, to purchase. And so hopefully if um, you have a, a Young Living leader near you, we can do um, ask us about having a Savvy Mineral uh, class and you can come and even see some of the colors um, in person. So, uh, but they do, uh, it's another whole class and all in itself, <laughs> but it is amazing. So ask the person that invited to your class, you invited you to this class if you want some more information about that. So, and just the last thing tonight that I wanted to share again was um, read labels. Uh, that's what I wanna encourage you tonight with is um, to be, uh, make sure that you're out there and reading the labels. What you're putting on and in your skin um, is so important. And um, we just need to, because, because out there off the shelf, you don't know what you're getting. Uh, we love Young Living and um, we trust Young Living because of, of all of these things um, because they are top of the line in what they do and what they say. We know that um, everything that I purchase with the Young Living label is going to be beneficial to my body and help my body. Uh, and so that's why we trust them for our um, for us. And again, just a reminder that their seed to seal guarantee is what we have that um, that promises us that we know we're getting the top of the line products for our bodies and our skin. Um, I did want to mention Jen, Amy, Jen. No, who is it? I'm talking to Amy. Do you know? Do we have any non-members on the class tonight? You know, I, I can't. I can't tell because okay. some people are on their phones, Brooke. Okay. All um, right. I, I recognize everybody, but there's a couple people that I don't, okay. so we probably okay. better just mention it. Okay. Well, I did want to mention that Young Living um, is a membership opportunity for you, and we have um, a few options that you can get involved with Young Living. We have a uh, basic starter kit. The reason I'm mentioning this, I usually don't mention this one first, but we do have it. It's $45 and comes with a few samples and different things, um, but if you're interested in skincare, that's why I brought it up to you specifically because with the skincare, you can actually add on um, the art line for $113 um, plus that 45 and get started with your long, Young Living membership, get started on great health, uh, skin health. Um, and then you could always add in any of the other products that we talked about as well. Um, that, um, that trio set is available also, the cleanser, uh, toner and moisturizer for $113 um, as a kit um, through your virtual office um, where you can go in and place an order. If you need help with that at all, you can ask um, the person that invited you and I'm sure that they can help with that. That is US dollars. I know I have some Canadian friends on here, so I will mention that. I'm not sure that they can order it as the trio kit or not, so I'll have to double check on that. Should have done my homework first. Sorry, Arlene, I didn't. Um, so that is an option for you. The other option is just that, um, again, you can start with the premium starter kit. We talked about so many of these oils tonight, lavender, frankincense, lemon, uh, peppermint, cobaiba is great for skin. So there's so many that are in the kit itself um, that comes with 11 oils and a diffuser for $160 US. Um, it is 199 Canadian. Um, the oils are a little bit different, but we can get you those details if that's something that you are interested in. We love Young Living and we know we can trust their label. Um, and yeah, so I'm so glad that you joined our class tonight. Um, beautiful skin, make it a work of art. This was my last little slide. I just wanted to say you can have fun um, with your skincare and just get started. You don't have to buy the whole line right away. Um, the art uh, trio kit is a great way to get started um, or just you know even DIYing a couple things and then purchasing a couple things. There are so many out options out there to get started with Young Living and uh, with your skincare to know that you are doing the best that you can for your body. So we thank you so much for coming. If you guys have any questions, you can definitely um, unmute yourself and ask and we will um, be able to answer them for you. Brooke, if anybody has a question and they don't know how to unmute themselves, I can unmute them. Okay, awesome. Um, Roger saying 14175. Is that Canadian pricing? Oh, oh, Andrew must have. Okay, yeah. Oh, maybe Dana's logged on. Okay, that's the other person. So that must be the Canadian price, yeah, for the trio kit. Okay.
Thank you. I'm going to stop my screen share here. Awesome. All right, is there any other questions? Next week, I'll just tell you guys, we are doing um, DIY and gift giving for our Zoom class. So it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be a little bit more interactive. So um, I hope you guys can come back and keep in mind that these classes are open to non-members as well. So if you have friends that you've been talking to about oils or um, other people that are in our Young Living organization, then be sure and share the link with them and get them on here. Yes, awesome. Did we have a question? Nope, we're good. All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight and we hope to see you again soon um, next week. All right. Good night, everyone. Amy, don't forget to stop recording.